Hello, this is Africa TV and you are watching the World Today News Bulletin. I am Amadou Kante. Many thanks for joining us and now the news in detail. And we begin with matters of the TRLC where Modungom, a support of the opposition United Democratic Party, told the Truth Commission on Monday that security agencies on the Yahya Jame persistently harassed and intimidated Gambians who supported the opposition during the dictatorship. He recalled one such case when police officers arrested some UDP supporters for gathering in Tujarin to promote the opposition party's agenda. The CC has more details of that in this report. On several occasions, the police will interrupt political activities of the opposition United Democratic Party. UDP as a form of harassment and intimidation, according to Modern Gum, a supporter of the party. Gum appeared at the Third Commission on Monday to testify on the April 2016 crackdown on opposition militants who called for electoral reforms during an unsanctioned protest. Dozens of people were arrested, detained, and allegedly tortured. At least one of them, the protest leader Solo Sandeng, died in custody. Gum has been recounting the 2016 incident and how he was involved in the protest that took place at Westfield. So Solo Sunday called. Solo Sunday called me. Akonye kusoma and said to me tomorrow. We will uh, get up. Ngata ngata balambayala and uh, demonstrate. Akonye bar mampa mito soto. He said to me, but we did not have a permit. Konya konyinga mano ninda tangomba permito ina IG taso na kapamito di mola. He said to me, at this time, if we are to go to the IGP and and seek for a permit, he will not give it us. Go solo sende bismi lande binala. I said to solo sende, well, that's okay. I am coming. So under the chairman, yeah. So I went to the chairman. Number start key call. So What's his name? Kafubayo. Kafubayo. Dada Kiamania, I went to the chairman. My lady Kiaman call. I called my lady chair. That's a summer. What's her name? I told you. Binta, Binta, uh, Binta Sidi. Binta Sidi. Dada Yanka is summer. I went to her and I Mapo told her that tomorrow. Yanka is summer. I call my Fendi. I told her this, that uh, they said tomorrow we should all come out. The April protest, which was led by Solo Sending, was meant to call for proper electoral reforms. Gambia's electoral environment gives much advantage to the incumbent, and the former president Yahya Jambe exploited this to his own advantage with disregard to the rule of law. Modungom, who was part of the protest and later got arrested, along with dozens of others, was responsible for securing protest banners and other anti dictatorship campaign materials. So Ndekaiko akunya ko ngabana sol soto. He told me that he has got banners. Akunya ko ngamisa fabala wolong. We need proper electoral reforms dialogue with IEC. He said what is written on that in them is that we need proper electoral reforms and we need dialogue with the IEC. Two Gambian people are hungry. Two Gambian people are hungry. Mm -hmm. Three why Gambia border close with Senegal? Three, why Gambia's border closes with Senegal? Four, dictatorship must end. Four, dictatorship must end. Five, Jammeh must go. Five, <laughs> Jammeh must go. In Abana Bana Solbala. These were what we had on our banners. It has been four years since the April 2016 protest, and the victims have yet to get justice. At the end of its two year mandate, the Third Commission is expected to make recommendations for the prosecution of some perpetrators of the more serious crimes like torture, enforced disappearances, extrajudicial killings, among others. The Commission will also recommend reparations for some victims and oversee the reconciliation process. For iAfrica News, I am Daisy Safe.